There, that's better. Don't you just love it when it's sunny outside? <laughs> I'm so sick, sick and tired of the rain. I mean, living in Vancouver is a nice city and all, but we have more rain here than any other city that I, I know in general. And I think we are probably the rain capital of Canada. I mean, like, rain is okay too, but it gets depressing when, they have, when it gets more more rain every day. And then when you have a nice day like today, where, where it's just like, it's super sunny, you just want to do stuff and you don't want to sit around the house all day long and do nothing. Okay, so since Darren is leaving soon, we're trying to make the everyday count so that when he goes, it's going to be one of the best like goodbyes that he had for a very long time. I want to talk to you guys about something that I haven't been putting off for aside for a while, and that is the update on where Darren will be living. Either he's moving or he's not moving. Well, it's been confirmed that Darren will be moving to Edmonton this coming up week. And it's going to be sad just to see, you know, a good friend of mine, like Darren, who I've known 16 years, well, actually 17 years now. And, you know, we're going to try to visit each other as much as, as possible, but his mom and his family are all there. They have a house, you know, it's easy for them to, to visit each other as much as possible. And, you know, like... Like many people, you know, didn't want to change, and he got tired of Vancouver right there. And you know, even myself, you know, like living here for such a long time, I, even the rain itself is depressing. So I just wanted to, to, to let you know, guys, about that, because I know I, I said before that I was going to keep you guys updated, and I wasn't. And I, we made that episode where Darren was talking about, you know, the moving, but you guys were fully know the full details. Well, he was waiting for a buyer at his place. And now he has one, and now his parents uh, have a place in uh, Edmonton that they picked out. It's a nice looking house, and I'm planning on visiting him. And also, uh, one thing that I really uh, think this is an awesome idea is that, yes, it's, you know, like I said, it's sad to see a good friend leave, but at the same time, I'll be able to, to, to get a glimpse of what Edmonton and what, you know, surrounding cities around Edmonton or towns or villages are like, you know, compared to, to what, what things are, are over here. And Darren has bought himself a flip, so he'll be vlogging as well, so we'll be uh, combining clips for, from a bit of what's happening on this side, and uh, what's happening over in, as well, and, and Edmonton, and we'll combine, and then you guys will get a, like a different perspective of what Vancouver is like, and what, you know, what Edmonton is like, so that, you know, we can both share opinions and when I visit Darren, I don't know how many times I will visit him, and how many times he will, he will come here, but I'm going to try as much as possible, and we got a lot of things planned for, for you guys for this year, so don't feel like we're, you know, like just because Darren's moving away, vlogs are going to be going to come kind of like slow and not very interesting. You know, things will, will be interesting. Like, for example, this year we're, we'll be going to, to Comic-Con, we're not fully 100% sure if Darren will be going, but I know, for, for for example, I am, and I know, for example, that I will be going to VidCon. So we'll have that planned out for, for this year, and then a whole bunch of more things will come out throughout the year, but I don't want to rush out and you know, spread the word right away. I want to keep it like, closed in, in a little bottle. Uh, you know, and then like, later, when it gets closer to the date, we'll let the pressure out and, and tell you guys more detail. I just wanted to update you guys about the whole, you know, Darren's movie situation.